Now, this is a topic I love talking about because I come from a background of shows and we're going to be discussing Mac. So thank you for joining us. This is James Fudge from the MTA. Oops. Now, um, James, it's Mac. It's a big, big show. Um, you talk about the show having 25,000 visitors walking through that door. Why should I, our viewers, visit Mac? Um, I guess 2018 is a real good year for us because we're looking at, um, we've changed the layout of the show. We've got a lot more technology on display. Um, so I think at this point in time, you know, the value of engineering and particularly UK based engineering um, has never been higher. Mm. So it's a great opportunity to come and visit. Um, we've got a lot more on show in terms of uh, connected manufacturing yeah. um, and digital manufacturing. Um, and it's, it's kind of a, a good year to come and see it. And the, the type of people visiting the show, you know, they've got real purchasing power, don't they? H who is it who's visiting? So I guess we see um, a real mix. As you say, it's people with real purchasing power. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of business owners, um, MDs, CEOs. Um, but I think this year, because we've got a lot more on the data side and cybersecurity, as I've mentioned, there'll be a lot more um, information officers. So this is people that are finding out about how data is stored and kept how it works within connected manufacturing um, and we also see people that are coming to kind of see what the latest technologies are within the industry yeah. um, and these aren't people that necessarily buy within that week but are certainly looking at something for the next two years and will be coming along to the show to see the, uh, the machinery in action. Yeah because the thing is I always think for a company to come out they've got to leave their machines, the MD maybe or um, some of their engineers that they've got, they've got to leave their machines and it's going to cost them money inevitably. So what are you going, how can you sell Mac to get that MD out or that visitor? Why does everyone go to this show? I guess for us, and one of the key things we've always found is it's a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got all the major manufacturing technology suppliers there um, and everything is live and working. So you're not just going along for a conversation, you can actually see the products in action. Um, and you've got that whole supply chain there as well. So you've actually, you've got uh, subcontractors, you've got people that are using the technology as well as those that are manufacturing it. So it gives you an opportunity to kind of see part of that supply chain that, that really affects your business. And you've got, there's some statistics out there because they've got 76% um, of exhibitors said that it improved their relationship with their customer. But actually it works both ways, doesn't it? Definitely, and the visitors always say to us, you know, they can sit at their computers, they can get emails, they can get information. But to actually go and meet with people, to actually talk through with them mm. um, and see, as I say, the equipment in action, that really is the, the key thing and the key reason why they visit. It's priceless, really. Exactly. And the opportunity to see the new technology throughout the sector is also key, another key reason why people turn up. So it's not just people who are buying machines. What more is there? So I guess for us, it's about people that are looking at the latest trends. Um, so people might be diversifying. Um, we're certainly seeing people who have traditionally only done subtractive manufacturing and now looking at additive, for example. Yeah. So our additive manufacturing zone has grown, people are coming along to look at the latest technologies. Um, and as I say, we've not gone for a specific area that focuses on Industry 4. Mm -hmm. We've gone for a, a much wider picture. So the whole show is about connected technology right. and the ready, being ready for I4. Yeah, because um, there's been themes previous years, hasn't there? Yeah, so we've still kept some of those zones. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got an IT for manufacturing zone, which really focuses on the, the hardware and the software that backs up the, the I4 piece. Um, but we've also got um, an enlarged metal working zone, uh, so metal forming, um, which mm. is uh, being supported by the Triple MA. We've got uh, an enlarged additive manufacturing zone, um, and we've also got a UK supply chain area, um, which really focuses on UK businesses um, and those people that are looking at reshoring. Okay, and who's that benefiting in the industry? So really, that's I mean that's a whole supply chain. Um, so we've got a couple of OEMs in there. We've got Safran Landing Systems, um, but as I mentioned earlier, we've also got subcontractors in there. Yeah. So it really is a bit more of a sort of wider supply chain. It's everyone, and, and I find as well at, at, at events, it's not just the exhibitors. The exhibitor, uh, the exhibitors are talking to each other. Yes, you and know, it, it was works. really funny because, as I say, because we've got different parts of the industry all in the same room. Um, you, you certainly get a lot more exhibitor to exhibitor business mm, yeah. um, and that's something that we're trying to facilitate a bit more at the next show as well. So what's unique for this Mac that has never been done before? So other than the new venue um, and the new hall layout that we have, mm -hmm. um, we've also gone um, smarter with our badging technology. So whereas in the past you could scan visitors and obtain their data um, and follow up with various information afterwards, um, you'll still be able to do that but this year the badges will act like contactless cards. So as you go around the show, exhibitors will have touch points, 
So if they're busy talking to someone and you need to just grab some information, you can tap that onto the, um, the reader. Yeah. They then, they, the visitor will get the information downloaded to them. So yeah. when they go back home, they can access that from like an online briefcase and the mm -hmm. exhibitor will get their contact details. Um, but we've also had a few people saying, well, they can actually put one by each machine, which will have the technical specifications. Oh, that's good. So as people are going around looking for new equipment, new technologies, they'll be able to tap against that and that will be automatically downloaded. And then they don't need to lug a brochure or a big catalogue around. Exactly. So people around. haven't got lots of things to carry around. So that's the, uh, the main idea. OK. And uh, to finalise, um, you've had your press launch. Mm -hmm. So how did that go? Really well. We were up at uh, the Factory 2050 at the AMRC in Sheffield. Um, and they've got a, a great feature that's coming to the show this year. Um, that's going to focus on retrofitting um, older equipment. So they've got a vertical milling machine and a turning machine, which has been fitted up uh, very low cost and is now I4 ready. And it's to talk about the addition of sensors and how you can... It's not a scary and big expense. Mm. Um, it's a feature that really shows that it is affordable and it is very easy to do. A lot of people are, are worried by the I4 term or the Internet of Things. Mm. They're already doing that. Um, and we saw that up at Factory 2050. Um, but you're going to take away that worry, aren't you? Because when people are there, you've got specialists on hand anyway. Exactly. And that's the idea, is that people can come along. As I say, that's one feature, but you'll see it throughout the show and yeah. they'll realise just uh, it's not that scary. So to finish off, how do people get to go to Mac? How's the registering process? So registration is now open. So you go to the website, which mm -hmm. is macexhibition.com. Um, fill in your details there. You will then receive a pre-reg pack, which contains your entrance badge and your floor plan and guide so you'll know who's there and where you're going and when you get there you just walk in straight through the door with the badge Done. and you're in. Fabulous, thank you so much James. No worries, good seeing you.